Always alerting, always tracking. This is Next Weather. Que rico indeed. All that looked delicioso. And since it is Hispanic Heritage Month, I think I can say buenos dias, right? Feliz eh, domingo. Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. You know, we officially kick off fall today. Autumn begins at 8.43 a.m. Sun directly over the equator, nearly equal day and night. And we in South Florida here, we're going to enjoy 12 hours and six minutes of daylight. And you know what? It's a great day to head to the Bay farm hosting its harvest festival. It features a pumpkin patch, a corn maze, hay rides, all kinds of fun activities for all ages. So if you're headed out there this morning, I think it's probably the best time because it won't be too warm. We're in the low 80s here as we get into 9 a.m. noon, the upper 80s. So certainly want to stay hydrated, but the rain chance is low and then it's not until around mid afternoon that we could see a few showers popping up. Overall, though, at least the weather cooperating, just take an umbrella and you know what? enjoy it. There's going to be live music and delicious food. And you know what? It is the first day of fall, but here in South Florida, you can head to the beach still. So that is a benefit we get to enjoy here. 80 degrees in Miami feels like 85, 79 in Fort Lauderdale feels like 82, 84 in Key West feels like 93. Our next weather radar network is quiet and dry. However, as we look at our rain tracker, as we get into the afternoon, that's when we may see a few showers popping up right around 2, 3 p.m. And then again around 4, 5 p.m. Not everyone we will see the rain, but there could be some isolated downpours. So just a heads up and even late tonight. So if you're headed to the beach, a low risk of rip currents, a UV index is high, high tide around 1 p.m. Today, the Atlantic waters, Florida Keys, no alerts or advisories for boaters. Dryer is with us, keeping the rain chance low today, Monday through the middle of the week, breezy with mostly inland storms. But then by the end of the week, more storms expected, depending on what happens with an area we're watching in the tropics. So you'll notice this is the one that we'll keep a close eye on with a 70% chance of development. This area of low pressure expected to form in the Gulf of Mexico and could be headed towards the Gulf Coast or the Florida Panhandle. This is the reason why we're seeing the rain chances rising by the end of the week. Breezy with highs in the upper 80s.